Hello, people viewers. Welcome to Mr. Who Reviews. Today, I'll be reviewing Just League for the Teen Titans. A name that was on this to go to set. So people, yeah, I'm like, no, I can't catch you fly or something. So, I got that layer. Anyway, in this, uh, Damien is there uh, supporting the Teen Titans for Batman Fields that needs to learn about teamwork. Even though in Batman Bad Blood, if I said for name last time, he worked well with the uh, Batwing, Nightwing, and Batwoman. So, here. Yeah. Anyway. The animation is the same uh, as the animation in the battle movies. The music is just great, especially the song that's going on when they're carnival. And the characters are pretty likable. The members of Titans in this are uh, Raiden, Beast Boy, Blue Beetle, Honey Reyes, and the leader of, of this version of the team, um, Starfire. I'm just wondering where the Jason and the Tim are. So, yeah, they, they, they did, but Commissioner Gore mentioned that Damon is another Robin, like, just guessing. Uh, the Red Horde and the Robin will probably challenge in this one. Yeah, oh. Anyway, they don't really get along well with Titans straight, straight away, like when Starfire welcomes him, welcomes him to the Titans carry just go straight to his room and then hogs the training place, I don't know what the it's called, and pick a fight. With Ruby O. Um, when he, uh, just taunts the scarab. The scarab just blasts his, blasts half his face off. Raven does heal, heal him, but just uses a lot of her energy and finally does apologize to half the scarab. He does apologize to, apologize to, um, Jaime and thank Raven as well. He just said, see, he, could, he saw some glimpses of her mind and, yeah, uh, he said, she might be like Rosa. Um, she just said, so angry that a Damon for a while quite sad and just leaves. And, uh, Damon just sneaks into Sapphire's room to get some info on Raven and the other little and he's just saying that he's a, he could uh, get more or know about more about Raven so he could be careful or take her down in different case. And then quote and there's a scene where uh Wonder Woman and the uh, Superman are on, on a date in a movie, and Mormon's getting out of the movie. That's just my memory being a whole percent that runs off. And turns out he's possessed by this, uh, minion of Trigon who is named Father. And it turns again when, uh, like the minion thing. When the uh, Titans are on a, or in a carnival. And they get there by driving, by driving the, that for car. It makes no sense to afford them to fly. By an order, they had a car in the animated show. But the cyborg is, was cyborg from the light car. Technology, and that's what kind of makes sense. Like here, 
Mayfell fans. And when they're about to fight the people that are possessed by turning on minions. So there's a transformation sequence, and I get why there was one for Beast Boy and Blue Beetle. But why Starfire? Is it because it's animating? Is it animating or what? I don't really get it. But. And after that, the uh, Raven gives them, gives them her backstory. Her mother joined the Satan working cult. And Jesse did it with the same of trying like what trying on the call. Then she fled to a place where she and Raven would be protected, but then Raven summoned her father and the place got destroyed. And when they when the Titans go back to Titans Tower suddenly boom to the way in, once Raven they come with them and just you know, go for Damien and Joe Titans and we have them well that's that first you like the the peacekeeper in this. But then some more trying on that minion come and take over nearly all of this is league. I say nearly all because Batman uses the Z thing that was meant to be used on Bane and he just and knocked out for uh, the Trigon Seed or something takes him over. And there is this fight between the Titans and some of the Justice League. Oh yeah, I got to mention that uh, Green Lantern, Aquaman, and uh, Shazam aren't in this. Probably has some other stuff to do. And Raven just surrenders after uh, the possessed Justice League threatens to kill um, Robin and Starfire. And uh, they get the uh, cyborg back somehow, I don't know how. And then they plan to go to where uh, the, they're going to resurrect the Trion. And they get Superman back by being in stabbing him with a kryptonite sword. So, you just go for it, get every uh, unpossessed. And somehow Superman is able to use it lasso truth on Diana. It makes no sense. Like I thought that one of them was the only one that could use the lasso. Like the power of it. I don't, I don't already get it. Uh, but they do get everybody back but the they're too late trying on his release. So Raven just brings them to hell. And um, when they get there, Beast Boy turning is just not being well either, and then he turns into this some sort of creature. And then we just fight off the demons of hell, and and uh, Robin just defending uh, Raven until his grandfather falls off. Now I don't know if it's actually his grandfather or supposed to have a possessed race or one of the demons of Trigon taking this in shape or I can't really tell. Um Raven is working on trapping Trigon back into the Ruby or whatever it is. And uh, one of the best parts I see when a race after Dane and the suit who he is, and Raymond and that Dane just says he's a titan, and this is this I thought bad up and says it, and he doesn't kill his grandfather, but the demons do. Again, I know it was really his grandfather or one of the titan demons taking the grandfather's state. And when everything's over, Raven decides to stay in hell so he can guard the jewel or the ruby that holds the trying on. But Damien says that 
to the Queen's Den. And she goes, I am in the middle of all that physique, where we want to fight and try on, so, I don't know, that's important. Whatever. Anyway, after that, they fight into the video chat with this Justice League and Batman says they're all impressed or proud or someone must make Damon happy. Um, Cyborg so struggle with some pieces and struggle so by Boom Kill. And then when he sees that the duel that holds Python on his forehead just creeps out saying, What's the horrible? Whatever. And a dance. This was a good movie. I don't really know if they needed to have Justice League, Justice League, right? In this, like, I, as I said in the game, not only put the name Justice League for Teen Titans, just get people to buy it. If I, if I could choose the better name, it would be a, I think it would be a, uh, the Teen Titans, the coming of Trigon or something like that. Uh, I think the card development for gaming wasn't really needed. Uh, as I said, he worked well with the the new, the new members of the Bath Omni and uh, Nightwing. But with card development, he did get all the same who he is. Like back in the Batman vs. Robin, he said that he doesn't really know who he is, but in this, he says he's a Titans of Barges to Battle Death. And it's also Raven is very good as well. And I think uh, the two have a kinder spirit relationship in this, you know, it might seem like they go up to have a romantic one, but I think Raven might be a year or two older than Robin, so, you know. And I don't really get why do you have Cyborg in this? They already have a person that has an alien metal suit in, in this. It just there for peace, so you can get a pizza or something. Is he the boom tube pizza delivery man? These uh, and Starfire are, are good. Starfire being trying to be the peacekeeper, but also getting annoyed at Damien for like a for a bars in the room and that and people being the the the, the class clown and it's so overall it's a good movie but not really perfect. So I think I'll say this a nine out of ten. Now the next new uh DC anime movie is the Kim and Joe. I thought about the joke, I thought out till uh, July at some point. And I will be reviewing it, but I don't really know what anime thing I'll be reviewing next time, so I'm gonna be thinking. Until that time, I'm a I'll get it.